I guess you could say that Bread Boy or Deli Boy has upgraded to Noodle Boy as I've found a new meal that I really enjoy and I feel good eating. Plus, it's very easy to make. So we're gonna just do a little quick meal overview of what I've been having over the past few weeks. So here we have our organic udon noodles, which I eat the whole package. It's about 900 calories worth of carbohydrates. And then we have some prime rib from Frankie's syringe meat. This is actually a new product. We used to do a fire roast ribeye. We switched that over to just oven roasted, which means it's prime rib sliced very thin, different flavor profile. I actually do like the oven roast a bit more. So if you guys haven't tried this out, it's very, very delicious. We're just going to boil the noodles, chop the meat up, put it in there with some collagen broth, which we'll show you shortly. So the little discouraging thing uh, with this new meal is I have to spend a few dollars on water every time to uh, make these noodles because I don't have a filtration system and the water quality isn't that great. So, you know, one to one and a half bottles of Mountain Valley water kind of adds up if I'm doing this meal twice a day, uh, every day of the week. But I've noticed a big difference in how I feel eating this versus the bread, possibly because the quality of the water used to make that bread is uh, not so great. So we have our strainer, we'll just pop that in the sink. And this is the bowl we're gonna be eating out of. I just rinsed it with the bottled water. And in this Instant Pot lid is my very concentrated beef collagen broth. We're kind of running low. So I'll just put about two scoops of this into the bottom of the bowl. I eat about half of this package, which is half a pound, so maybe a quarter pound to four ounces of meat per meal. Sometimes I'll have more, sometimes I'll have less, depending on how I feel. So I'm just gonna kinda cube this up. So then the meat I just put in with the collagen broth, a little bit of salt in there, and then the rest of the salt in the water for the udon noodles. And I'll also put just a tiny bit of oil in this, as well as the boiling water. Now I've been forgetting to do this, but the uh, coconut aminos do help add a lot of flavor to this. And we'll do the legitimate udon recipe maybe this Saturday for you guys, which has quite a bit more ingredients. It's just, you know, a lot more work, so I don't do it every day. Since we have that collagen broth and the prime rib already prepared, it makes this a very fast and easy meal. I mean, once a week I'll make that reinforced beef collagen broth, and then I'll bring home the prime rib from Frankie syringe meat or the roast beef. And then this whole meal takes me five minutes to make. Super quick, super easy, super nice. I mean, if I didn't have that stuff, yeah, this would take a lot longer. Now, while we wait for the udon noodles, I usually just peel a few apples. And these apples that I bought lately are a bit smaller, so I'll do three of them. Also because I haven't been having like the cookie bars and we ran out of the banana rice crisp bar. So uh, for dessert, I've just been restraining myself to a few apples. You know, I, I've been feeling and sleeping a lot better. It's just, uh, you know, when you have liver damage and you're not really absorbing the food that well, you know, it takes maybe an hour or two for your digestion to really ramp up and, and for you to feel satiated. So what ends up happening is, you know, during the meals as you're eating, you know, you're not really triggering your, your satiation mechanism properly. So you gotta kinda control yourself and restrain yourself and, and eat less than you want because of how your organ function is, you'll end up eating way more than your stomach and digestive capacity. And these noodles only take like four minutes, which I like a lot. Normal pasta takes a bit longer. So I was switching over to a new phone because uh, mine was slowing down a bit. And I always have some backup phones just in case something happens. So I switch over to this new one, it's all fine. I go to the gym, I accidentally sit down on the phone, so then I have to switch to my second backup phone. And apparently the guy that sold me the phone, it was like reported stolen or something, and Verizon actually shut down my entire like cell phone and wireless account, which was really irritating because I can't take any business calls, I can't use my GPS to drive around, it's just, I had to go to Verizon and have them reactivate my account, completely ridiculous you know, a customer with them for almost 10 years and they just shut down my account out of the blue because I put my SIM card in a phone that I didn't know 
was apparently stolen, which is really strange because it's an iPhone 8 Plus, which is from like, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. But I think I'm going to switch over to the newer model anyway, because uh, even though the radiation levels might be higher, uh, which apparently the testing says it's not, uh, the, the camera on the phone is much higher quality, which I kind of need for social media. If you guys didn't see it, I did an entire video on why apples are good for you. And I've been eating these basically every day since I started my new kind of liver healing diet. So I'll just strain the noodles. And since the broth was in the fridge and it's really cold, it's kind of perfect because it, it cools down the noodles to the point where I can eat them. And same with the, the prime rib, the meat was in the fridge. The noodles just warm everything up. Yeah, so this is what I've been eating for the past few weeks now. I've been feeling really good, been sleeping good. I do have to jump back on the water kefir and kefir grains. I mean, you guys bought them all, so I ran out. I have to like, kind of save some for myself because I do notice a big difference um, in my gut health and digestion when I stop it. So hopefully uh, tomorrow in the next few days, I can kind of hop back on the kefir bandwagon. And the first meal of the day, I'll have more protein. So, you know, this meal, we're only having like a few ounces of meat, but the first meal of the day, I'll have, you know, maybe half a pound uh, to a pound of meat. A few apples here and the mastic gum, which I was actually going to show you guys today, maybe as a protocol. I mean, it's not much to show you. I do like a quarter teaspoon before the meal. Then I'll do another quarter teaspoon after the meal and I'll make sure when I wake up in the morning, I'll have some masticum on an empty stomach just to consistently keep, you know, the H. pylori candida at bay. And I notice I have to do that more when I don't have the water kefir or the water kefir grain. So, uh, I mean, I don't really have much else to talk about. We went over this meal last time. You guys know the drill for liver recovery. Uh, you want kind of low fat decent amount of protein for the nutrients and just a lot of carbs and a lot of starch to feed the gut bacteria, detox the liver and keep things moving. I mean, honestly guys, it's probably gonna take a few more years to uh, of following this diet to start you know, being back to 100% normal. But I'm gonna enjoy my dinner guys, it's really late. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, check out any of the products we had today. You know, we got the prime rib on frankiestrangemeat.com. Uh, maybe I'll put the link to the noodles on my Amazon store. Of course, we have the collagen broth, but we are sold out of that. But you guys can get the masticum on organsupplements.com. You got the Fiyuji water, low mineral, very clean. As always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys. And I'll see you for the next video.